Welcome back to another quality video brought to you by ApplianceVideo.com. In this video, we'll show you how to remove and replace the auxiliary pump on this GE dishwasher. Be sure to visit ApplianceVideo.com where you will find thousands of repair videos on the latest technology. And for a limited time, you can save big on an annual membership and take advantage of all of our premium benefits. ApplianceVideo.com. Do it right the first time. You will need the following tools to complete this repair. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to unplug the appliance from the outlet. It is also recommended to test the outlet for proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the water. For video purposes, we have uninstalled the dishwasher and laid it on its back. This repair can be done with the dishwasher installed under the counter, but it may be difficult to access the pump. It is advised to use a shop vac to remove as much water from the machine as possible before beginning. To begin, remove the 5 16 inch screw holding the drain hose clamp in place. Once the screw is loosened, slide the clamp down the hose and slide the hose off of the pump. Loosen the 5 16 inch screw on the clamp holding the pump to the sump and slide it as far back as you can. Remove the wiring connectors by pulling straight off. These wires just complete a circuit, so it is not necessary to take note of the orientation they are installed in. Next, remove the two quarter inch screws mounting the pump to the dishwasher frame. With the screws removed, hold on to the sump and work the pump out. Untangle the wires from the pump and set it aside. To install the pump, take note that there's a drain line and a line going to the sump. Also take note of the screw holes on the pump. These will be lined up with the screw holes on the frame of the dishwasher. Slide the purple and white wires back into the slot on the pump and insert the line into the sump. The mounting screw holes should now be lined up. Start to install the quarter inch screws mounting the pump to the frame. Don't tighten the first screw completely, so you can still adjust the position of the pump if necessary to line up the second screw. Now, install the second mounting screw. You can tighten this screw fully. Make sure to return to the first screw and tighten it fully also. Install the wiring connectors. Remember that these just complete a circuit and the order in which they are installed doesn't matter. Next, make sure the pump is firmly seated into the sump and move the clamp back over the connection and tighten the 5 16 inch screw. Slide the drain hose back onto the pump until it stops and seats firmly.
You will notice there's a ridge on the hose to show the correct position of the clamp. Tighten the 5 16 inch screw to secure it in place. And this will complete your repair. Thanks for watching. If you found this information helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel.